Jey Uso is here and he is a new man. The following contest is a fatal four-way tables match. Making his way to the ring from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds, main event, Jay Uso. The one thing that hasn't changed about Jay Uso is his unrelenting desire to be at the top of WWE. Yeah, and at this point, I don't think anything can hold him back. Jey Uso has truly reached main event status. Here comes Finn Balor. One of the most talented competitors around with a darker edge than ever. And his opponents, first, representing the Judgment Day from Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds. He is one half of the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champion. You know, Finn Balor used to have such a deep connection with the WWE Universe, but he's thrown all that away with this new attitude. I'd argue that was the smartest thing that Balor's ever done. Finn used to be the guy who let glory slip through his fingers, who fell just short of expectations, but now he's living up to his hype and much more. Balor famously became the first ever Universal Champion, but had to surrender the title to injury. And he's had some measure of success since then, but he's become bitter, he's become jaded. Uh, you speak lies, Cole. Finn Balor simply realigned his values. Simply one of the best to ever do it. And from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton! A third generation superstar who had no hesitation when it came to creating his own path when it comes to creating his own legacy. Randy Orton has done just that. But prior to NXT and the WWE Performance Center, it has been said, if you were going to build a WWE superstar from the ground up, it would look exactly like Randy Orton. Has every tool needed to be a legend. Here we go, guys. And we're presenting Harlem Heat from Harlem, New York, weighing in at 259 pounds. Oh my gosh, you Boom. Look so great. The WWE Universe has been counting. The ringside area is surrounded with tables as it will take putting your opponent through the table to win this match. There are a few things more satisfying than finally hearing a superstar go through a table. Big knee to the midsection. Oh, what a headbutt. Balor not backing down one bit. From the top. Byron, this time is setting how important is it to be in control of the match? Always want to have 
the upper hand, but in this type of matchup, that does not necessarily guarantee a victory. We've seen competitors who've taken a massive beating in a match like this simply by moving out of the way or executing a miracle reversal. Absolutely, Corey. It doesn't matter who has the advantage in this fight more offense in a match like this. This is WWE. There's no point-based system. It's about getting the job done by putting your opponent through the table. Stop to the leg. Vicious right forearm. And what a reversal for Jey Uso. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Oh, God, what a shot to the face. Balor possibly being reminded there that it will take a lot more to dismantle his opponent. Going down low and nasty uppercut. What a shot. Straight brutality coming right at you. Attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. Ooh. Orton setting his sights and lining him up. Jenny put in the ring now. attacks from the Viper. Orton is doing a great job remaining engaged with the opposition. Oh, look at the kick. Oh. Shaky at best now. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. 
They're happy to win, but I think even happier to avoid going through a